Hey everyone, this is me, Fred, and welcome back to uh, Let's Play Diversity 2. Now, you may be wondering why I'm back in the survival branch of Diversity 1, and um, there is a very simple reason for that, and um, that is because I recently found out about something that would have saved a lot of, uh, a lot of time and effort if I had known about it sooner. Just need to get some, uh, some resources. Alright, I believe that should be good. I need to go over this way and, um, build up the side of the bedrock chamber. This is the thing, you're too curious. Earwax remover, fingernail trimmer, nose picker, tongue scraper, and eye cross cleaner. As disgusting as the names are, these are enchanted diamond tools with unbreaking 3 and this also has sharpness 5 as well. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can just jump down into the water. You gotta get back down. So, yeah, uh, suffice to say that would have made things a lot easier. Because, I mean, it's fucking fully enchanted diamond tools. Let's, let's go down in the mine and see how this does, I guess. This is, uh, not the part of the mine that I remember going into. What the hell, where am I? This is the, uh, entrance I was looking for. It's weird seeing this place in its abandoned form again. I hear tons of them, but I can't seem to find any mobs, so... I wasn't intend- oh, here we, here we go. There. Two hits. Anyway, that's, that's all I wanted to show. Alright, also, for the record, I'm not recording this on the same day as the other video. Well, same day, yes, but, uh, not the same time, as it is currently... Uh, four in the morning. What am I doing with my life? Alright, on, on to the actual video now. Hey everyone, this is me, Fred. It's 10.50am. I am basically still asleep. Let, let's do this shit. Okay, so I, I kind of know what I want to do this episode. First of all, I want to make progress, but before I get to that, I, I kind of want to go back through and just, like, do everything I haven't done yet. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just kind of the goal here. Is there anyone hiding in here? There better fucking not be. See, I, I cannot go that way, right? No, I can't. Okay. I think that would just lead back to where I just was anyway. So that's that's not where I want to go. Where I want to go first, I think, is in here. Oh, how did I not see that? Also, I know these levers don't do anything. I'm just flipping them anyway. I... I don't know why, I just feel the need to. Huh. This could be helpful. Oh god. Um, minus 60% max health. I don't know about that. I, I, th I think I'll, uh, keep the one I'm currently using. Yeah, that's, that's not worth it, I'm sorry. But, um, I am glad I came here, though, because this is some good-looking armor. And then, can I go upwards? No, I cannot. So. Alright, that's, uh, one room down, some unknown number to go. Is there really nothing in there? I have no idea what the orange essence is used for, but I should probably save it. I, I've, I've seen this map played before, I just don't really... Oh, okay, be right back. 
after a coffee break that I haven't entirely finished yet, I don't know where I am. Did I seriously not get everything in this room? I find that difficult to believe. Alright. Hey! Sir! That's not allowed. Oh no. I do not like this. Thankfully, that creeper blew up everything else. What is that? I am worried about everything happening here. I can just go outside then. More void armor. I, I, I can't remember what chests I have and haven't looked in. Well, I haven't looked in this one, that's for sure. Okay, let's go outside then, I guess. I see a name tag. Actually, I think this is... I think there's progress this way. Let's, let's not do that quite yet. Um... Because, you know, doing things in a good order would just be terrible. I, wait a minute. I'm confused, isn't that where... I, I'm going to stop trying to figure out where everything is, because I'm doing a bad job of it. Okay. I'll, I'll take this. Let me uh, go ahead and do this. Alright, now that we've done that. I hear footsteps and they're not my own. It's kind of concerning. Whoa. Hey. Oh, nice. I'll, I'll take that. I am supremely uncomfortable. Nothing seems to happen when I hit that button. Wow, so I, I really can't go that way. Alright then. So, I, I guess I am supposed to go outside then. Well, now we know that at least. Checkpoint. Woo, fifth tower. Things have become bad and sooner than I expected. They came from the rooftop. It's time for me to flee. The fifth tower, it's not in the real world. Remember, the dimensional spectrum is like a massive mirror. It can have scratches and differences from reality. This bothers me, though. The differences in this dimension seem premeditated. If I had to guess, it's part of the whole fear dealio. Nothing to worry about. I have everything I need except orange essence. I'll skip you through reading this, and I'd bet my buttons that you are, you lovely disobedient bugger. Please bring me some orange essence so we can both get out of this mess. I'll be waiting to the central tower. Good luck. I'm probably supposed to be giving this person, like, a British accent or something, I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna attempt a British accent right now. I, I don't think I'm physically capable of doing that. Hanzo. Okay, just making sure there was nothing around there. Whoa! Hi. I oh. Hi to you too. So I'm guessing this is where the uh, fire resistance comes in then. Oh, I am not a fan. God, I I don't like things rushing around corners to get to me. It's it's not fun. Can I? Oh, I can do this. 
that makes things more convenient. However, everything can see me from where I currently am. Please don't have good pathfinding. Thank you. Oh crap, now I'm stuck again. Hello? You're jumping down there a terrible idea. Probably. Oh, well, I lost my chance too, so... That makes me think it wasn't a terrible idea, and that I probably should have done it. Wait, I might, I might still have a. Nope, I, I did that. That's a chance I permanently lost. Well then. I believe there's a creeper suffocating in that wall. want to jump down these, but also I don't know if that's actually a good idea or not. Oh, god. Hi. Okay, then. This is stained glass, maybe? Or was I just not supposed to go here? Uh, let me try jumping down, I guess. Nope, this was not where I was supposed to go. Alright, well, at least I know that now. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know what that did, but I think it might have done something. I'm gonna go this way this time. Oh, I didn't even see this. Well. Checkpoint. Yay. I like checkpoints. Whoa. Okay. Why well, turned the light on? I'm not sure what that uh, accomplished, but I did it. Professor Orange is up here. Don't you dare. Oh-ho! I knew you would make it! You brought the orange essence with you, correct? If so, place it in that funnel. As a reward, I'll give you the Dimensions Power Source, Orange Core. Not a bad deal, is it? So this is what the orange essence is for. I may not have thought this too entirely. Hold on to your hats. Oh no, I don't have one! Alright then. Once again, please send back. Alright. The adventure branch has been completed. Um, let's go ahead and get started on the arena branch then. Why not? Check transport. I think I might remember this one. Ooh, lag. Your locks pick is temporary as arena audience loads. Ah, yes.
easy, normal, hard. Um, I'm an idiot, so I'm going to set the difficulty to hard. Arena Branch. Welcome to the Arena Branch. Your goal is to activate the mob cages and shut down the spawners. Warning, once the mob cages have been opened, they cannot be closed. Details to follow for currency, completion, death, and hunger. Every kill is worth a diamond, which can be, which can be used for crafting, trading, and unlocking the anvil and the beacon. With each cage mob kill, diamonds will continue to appear in the center of the arena above the beacon. Once a player kills 15 mobs of a kind, their spawning away may be shut down by placing a full diamond block in the hopper located in the back of their cage. However, after this, a cast will spawn, and upon his death, every player will gain 5 levels. If you die, you will lose all the diamonds and diamond blocks from your inventory, armors and weapons will remain. Use the chest to store diamonds in case you die. Your own spawning cage may be opened or closed at any point for safety. Be aware you will go hungry. In order to prevent this, for every kill you will regain saturation. So if you want to stay healthy, keep killing mobs. Alright. Um, let's, uh, what, what's, what would be the easiest mob to fight? Probably zombies. The zombie cage is now open. How do I actually, um... Oh, there we go. So I just have to fight these things with my bare hands until I get... Uh, actual weapons. Alright, I can do that. Most of the audience is made of Steve's. Okay, I'm uh... I'm in a bit of a situation. I probably should have set the difficulty to easy. Huh. Yeah, let me, let me try with the difficulty set to easy. Cause uh... Setting it so hard immediately may have been a mistake on my part. Well, yeah, I'm still getting my ass kicked on easy, so... Setting it to hard was definitely a mistake on my part. Sir. Oh no! I can't believe you've done this! I'm, I'm not gonna attempt a British accent right now. I, I don't think I'm physically capable of... Doing that. I can't believe you've done this. Hmm. Three diamonds. Can I buy a weapon with that? Oh. Hi. Goodbye. Um. Okay, I will trade a diamond for a stick. And I will craft a diamond sword. This is a flawless plan. If trades get black, leave the trade shop in return. Oh, this is not good. Good sir, please. Please don't. Zombie spawning may now be disabled. How? How do you disable it? Insert diamond block? Oh. I, uh, don't have one of those. Wow. Oh no. That's, that's a problem. Okay, so how much does it take to craft a diamond block? Oh. You, nine. I'm, I'm dumb. I, I meant how much does it take to trade for one, but you can craft one with nine, so... I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, well this makes things easier. Come on, I just need one more diamond. You, you, you can do this, man. This is a, uh, a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. Oh, I don't have a bow. Um, sir, 
Sir, ma'am, whatever you are. Guest, hey. Hey. Hey, I'm, I'm down here. Do you mind? Do, 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 do you mind? Hey. Hey. <laughs> Alright, sure, we'll just leave you there, I guess. Um. Alright. We'll just do what is next, I guess. Probably a terrible idea. Where are they, actually? Okay, let me just kill these things as fast as I possibly can, because I do not m really want to deal with all of this. I've made a horrible mistake. <laughs> okay, I just need to not... Oh... I, as I was trying to say, I just need to not let them do that. Okay, I need to focus on one at a time. Otherwise, none of them are ever going to die because they can regenerate health or whatever. Which spawning may now be disabled? Okay. Why well, y'all are all doing that? Now there are two guests wandering around. Oh? Wait, are you actually going to try to attack me? Nope. Alright, well... That is- oh! Alright then. <laughs> well, uh... That happened. So... If you people have been, it, yeah. If you people have enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you have anything to say about this video, leave a comment. If you have any suggestions for future videos or throwing a game in real life, let me know in a comment for a message. If you're watching this on YouTube and want to see more content like this, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see people next time. Bye.